We're going to wear naughty nightwear. And we're also going to wear our cowboy hat because that's what you do when you wear naughty nightwear. You also wear a cowboy hat with it. Sexy. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment mod list. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, we just finally made it to Rivet City. Uh, I walked in the door at the end of the last episode, and then we crashed. <laughs> so uh, we are starting over, or starting this episode now, uh, going into Rivet City uh, for the first time. And uh, so we have two primary goals here, well, at least in terms of quests. Uh, we need to do some research on the place for Moira, and we need to try and find um, the kid in Great Itch's Aunt Vera, I think it is. So, yeah, that's what we're here for. So let's do it. All right. Everything looks okay here. So, looks like that's any? a armor vendor and a drug food vendor. Did you hear about a supply the vendor, a yeah, Bell's going to have to replace some tables weapon vendor. Sure wow, this place is really decked out pretty good. And Gary's gallery, or no, galley. All right, so... Interesting. All right, so let's talk first to Flack and Shrapnel. Let's actually if you take. Want a gun, you've come to the right place. All right, I'm just gonna look and see what you have. I promise I won't touch anything. Got a lever action rifle, double barrel assault carbine. Light machine gun, grenade launcher, grenade rifle. Hey. Nice shotgun. It's a nice looking shotgun. It's a, a hunting shotgun. All right. Harkness. Oh, you were the guy at the gate. Right. Okay. So let's talk to Flack. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Uh -huh. Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Roger that. Um, aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob you? This is quite a selection, but they're all in lousy condition. Can I see what kinds of guns you have for sale? Um, but what's your repair no ability? No problem at all. 71. Okay, that's not too bad. All right. Um... Let, let's do business with him first, and then maybe he'll be more amenable to to giving us history. In fact, you know what? If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. I do. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put this on for the... Oh, I still have it on for the selling. But then we're going to switch to the naughty nightwear, <laughs> because it's going to give us plus 10 to speech. Uh, okay. Decided to check out the shop, eh? If you want any of this shit, just holler. Gotcha. I want some of this shit. Okay, I think. Well, I want to sell it to you more more than anything. Um, what do you have for sale? Need to do some killing, eh? Yeah, unfortunately. That's the way it works around here. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have 161 caps. I'm going to sell them the liquid nitrogen. I think I'm going to sell him... Uh, he's got four. Okay, let's let's sell him like half of these missiles. I should have put some of those in the thing for, uh, you know, the post office box for Megaton. I've got a decent number of these already, though. I mean, how many of those do I actually need, right? Who knows? Maybe we're going to have a really hard quest come up later. All right, he can have the 32. He can have the pipe rifle. He can have both assault rifles and the Chinese assault rifle. Police baton. Oh, he'll buy armor too. Hmm, okay. 
I wonder if the price is different with the armor vendor. Let's just remember that this is currently 33 caps. And we'll go check the other guy. I don't think it will be, but it might. Um, here, you can have the coffee pot. Okay, so let's accept that. Now, I want all your 308s. And I guess I'll take your two APs because I can make my own APs now, of course. How many 357s do I have? I got 50, and I have more back at the base, so I don't think we'll buy any 357s from him. Uh, 45, I got 59, and yeah, we're actually doing pretty good on 45s. 10 mils, we're doing pretty good on. What about 556? Five, I've got 184 normals and 142 armor piercing. Yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good on those too. What I'd like to get... Do you have any 20-gauge pul pulse rounds? No, you just have normal 20-gauge. Okay, well, well, we'll take those three from you. Uh, what I'd like to get is some more pulse rounds. He's got a 45 auto pistol. He does have quite the selection, doesn't he? That's a, probably that really nice hunting shotgun. He's got a fat man... Well, he sells armor too. That's weird. I mean, you'd think you'd think that the armor vendor would have all that instead of him. All right. Now, do you also have Okay, yeah, I'll take your large pistol primers. Primers seem to be one of the hard, more difficult things to come by. And There you go. Okay. So I think you and I are finished for the moment. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right, we'll come. Uh, we'll come back and talk to him. Need to. What was that armor again? I think it was thirty-three, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if the armor vendor gives us any more for that. If you need, I'll be back to chat in a second. Let me or a security. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. Oh, you're the city council member, huh? Okay. I bet he'll have some good stuff to tell us. Attire for discriminating customers. Discriminating? What the hell does that mean? Um, I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. Okay. Um, so if I sell this to him, it's still 33. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I didn't think it did, but it was worth checking, right? Okay, so let's sell the armor to him. And is there anything else that I would... Okay. Um... Do you have anything I might be interested in? You have a Robco jumpsuit. We had one of those at one time, but I got rid of it because we already have repair on our combat armor. He's got sexy sleepwear too? Oh, but this doesn't have the stats that ours does. Oh, no, we oh we got something different. Naughty nightwear. Okay, never mind. Sexy sleepwear, naughty nightwear. It's all the same thing. Not really, though. Okay, let's accept that. Give me a shout if you need anything else. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Bannon. Come back soon. Okay, I'll Talk come back. You know if you I will. Out of the ordinary. I will come back and talk to you in a second, but I gotta finish my vendoring here first. So you're like the drug dealer, huh? Welcome to a quick fix. <laughs> a quick fix. Uh, drugs and alcohol. Okay. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. You know, you are got to be about the nicest dr drug dealer I think I've ever met in my life. Um, what do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Okay. I think, not, not that I've met a lot of drug dealers in my life. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, let's move along. Um, that just occurred to me. <laughs> But I should probably clarify that, right? Uh, let's see. You can have three whiskeys. How's that sound? You know, maybe she's... We shouldn't... She's not just a drug dealer. She's a pharmacist. That's what she is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's really anything else. Ant Queen pheromones. Really? Perception... Oh, they give three charisma. That's funny. Uh, all right. I guess that's all. 
a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, I'll come back and talk to you again in a minute, Cindy. I'm sure you'll be back soon. I will. Nicest drug dealer ever. Okay, anyway. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? I a bunch of them outside, but I'm not one of them. I am a non-troublemaker. Rivet Did City you Supply. Hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah, I, Bell's going to have to replace some tables and chairs. I'm sure she'll just scrounge some from the lower deck. Right. Okay. Howdy. I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Do you know who Moira is? You guys are probably two peas in a pod. Uh, you got a T-51B? No? Then you don't have everything. Okay, no, let's not be rude. Uh, what do you got to say? I've got a little bit of everything. You did tell me that, didn't you? Okay, it's got 300 caps. Um. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's just sell those. We don't need them. I, like I said, I've got quite a few back at the base. And if we get into a, a quest where we do need them, then we'll grab them at that time. Uh, you can have the cram, actually. I kind of like mole rat snake, not because it tastes good, it tastes like ass, but because it doesn't give us radiation. It makes us a little bit thirsty, though. So I think I'm going to hang on to that. We probably actually need to eat it, to come to think of it. You can have the two mutt fruits. Um... I'm going to give you the bottle cap mine, too. Okay, uh... I have no idea what I need centaur blood for, but it is a crafting item. Okay, let's, uh, accept that. Oh, you got ammo, too. Okay, I want all your 308s. I don't think I'll take the hollow points. It's got 556 five, surplus. Um, you know what? Actually, I am going to take those because we can break them down to make armor piercing. Oh, good. You got 20 gauge pulse. I want those. And I'll take. Does Buckshot. Does Buckshot do AP? It doesn't say that it does. Seems to me like it would do a lot more than normal shotgun rounds would. But. Let's let's buy more of these because we got that new shotgun now. And uh, we'll probably be using it more frequently. He's got weapon repair kits, but and now that I can make those, I don't think I'm going to buy them unless I run out, of course. Do you have any primers? Yes, take all your primers. It's got duct tape, but I think I've got plenty of that. What's hard to come by is scrap electronics. I mean, in, in quantity. Wrenches are kind of rare, too. And then we'll take one wonder glue. All right. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. See you later. All right. So we are ingratiating ourselves with the city by stimulating their economy. Are you like the... I'll be right with you. Hi, I'm Angela. My dad runs Gary's Galley. Hi, Angela. If you want anything to eat, talk to him. Okay. Um, it's called Gary's Galley because we're on a ship and his name's Gary. Why would I ask such a dumb question? Um, you're a sweet little thing to charge by the <laughs> No. Um, well, okay. I don't want to be rude. Do the men on the ship give you much trouble? Yeah, it's nice to see a family business together. Dad and I have had a rough time, but we're getting by. Hey, we got fame in Rivet City. Nice. Good. Glad to hear it. Um, yeah, let's, let's, again, let's stimulate the economy. Here's a menu. Okay, how about we buy some here we go. Um, ant bits does not give us any radiation. 
bloat fly, bloat fly smoothies don't give us any radiation, but the idea of that just makes me want to puke. Even though I said in an earlier episode it was tasty, but I was lying to you guys. It doesn't taste good at all. Don't listen to me, ever. Uh, that gives us rads, that gives us rads, that gives us rads. Oh, do you got steamed Meyer Lurk? Yes! This gives us rads too, but it gives us so many other good things. Okay, I'm gonna buy three steamed Meyer Lurk from you. There we go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Will do. Um, I will come back and actually talk to you momentarily. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. You're welcome, Angie. La, Angie La. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that everybody? I think so. Man, this is the place to come to buy and sell. My word. This is even better than Megaton. Like, way better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start over again. I, I mean, we're going to start going through and talking to everybody again. But we're going to change into our naughty nightwear. Um, and also... Yeah, we're going to wear naughty nightwear, and we're also going to wear our cowboy hat, because that's what you do when you wear naughty nightwear. You also wear a cowboy hat with it. Sexy. Okay. I'm going to also do a quick save here, just in case something happens. All right, let's start this whole process over again and start talking to everybody. Shrapnel. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Okay. Man, I love guns. Nothing's better than the kick of a forty-four. Damn straight. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. Oh, yeah, I got a couple. Maybe I'll sell one to you. Um, is there anything I can get? Is there anywhere I can get a drink on... On this tub. I'm thinking about buying some ordnance. Okay. Yeah, let's let's start working on the history thing. History? Fuck if I <laughs> hell. Fuck why, if I care. Why should I not be surprised by that answer? Um what is your repair Let's have a look at it. Um level. Seventy one. Okay. Um I'm thinking of buying some ordnance. What you looking for? Okay. We've already... Wait, is his inventory different than... No, it's the same one. Wait, is this even the same guy? I thought we talked to the other guy. Where can I... Uh, no, on this tub's kind of derogatory. Okay. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. You do, and I'll remember that. Thank you. This is the guy we well, talked to. Flack, yeah. Shrapnel. Made up your mind? Um, do you know any about anything about the history? Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Probably as safe as any place you'll ever find around here. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. <laughs> okay. Thank you. you. Okay, let's go talk to Seagrave Take a again. Look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Um. What do you know about the history of Riv City? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. Okay. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Okay. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. Okay. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Why in particular? Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Okay. What can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Mirelurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Okay. 
Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. All right. Thank you for that information. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Gotcha. Okay. Um... I think that's it for now. Thank you. See you later. Okay, let's go talk to Angela. Is that what her name was? Yeah. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Um, what's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But safe, right? But we're safe yeah. here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Dr. Lee? Oh, we're going to have to go talk to him or her. Um... All right, why is it called Gary's Galley? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Gotcha. Okay. He does make some pretty damn good steamed Mirelurk, I have to say. Uh, what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. Okay. She's smart, though. Real smart. Real smart. Okay. Um, To the men. Could I ask you about Rivet City's history? I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge D.C., but I don't really know. Huh, okay. Um, to the men, I, I, why would I ask her that? I mean, I guess she's sort of kind of attractive, but that just seems like none of my business, right? Okay. Goodbye, Angie. Bye. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Cindy. Nice to see you again. Are you looking for a quick fix? Not at the moment. I'm looking for information. What can you tell me about the history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? That's a damn good point. But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Okay, I'll do that. See ya. I'm sure you'll be back soon. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, okay, let's talk to you. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. When you're ready to buy, just let me know. Okay. So... So, could I ask you about Rivet City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Okay. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the Wastes. Well, you've definitely impressed me so far from everything else I've seen. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Dead-enders, okay. Um... Well, it does seem like it's been around longer than that, but I don't have enough speech to convince him. That makes sense, and it explains why you're on the council. Precisely. After sponsoring the settlement and organizing the city council, I took my rightful place at its head. Okay. Oh, of course, we're all equals there. Uh, People would complain if equals. we didn't at least say that. But you and I know better, don't we? Uh, d we do? Okay, so so you're on the city council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. Gotcha, okay. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Oh, so you got a little rivalry going on with Seagrave, huh? That's really none of my business. Seagrave, oh yeah, he's close. Uh, yeah, uh, none of my business. Don't want to get mixed up in politics. Not eh? really. Don't blame you. Not really. Um, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Okay, that's a noble cause. Um, what is your repair level? I'll see what level? I can. 39. Okay, never mind. Um, all right. Thanks, Mr. Bannon. Come back soon. I will do that. Okay, so we've... Let's talk Is there to you. a problem? Nope, except for your chin looks like you... Never mind. Um, I heard you're some... Why did you say... Can you tell me back to I'm kind of lying. What do you know about the uh, Rivet City's history? I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Okay, fair enough. Um, I heard you're on the city council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. Okay. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. 
Um, why did you all decide to live on this rusty old tub? That seems kind of rude. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Okay. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Gotcha. Um, all right, I'm, I'm going to ask him this. We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Okay. Um... Can you give me some directions? I suppose. Where is... Uh, okay, it's in the stern. Where can I get medical help? Also in the stern. Is there, excuse me, like a place to sleep and who's in charge? Let's see what he says about this. It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Wait, what about the mirror guy behind me? Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. He kind of represents the merchants. That's a little bit different than being the mayor. Okay. Um. Is there some place I can sleep? The common room is free, but the beds are lousy. It's on the midship deck. A big open room with lots of beds. You can't miss it. All right, well, at least they're having a free place to sleep. If you want to sleep well-rested, rent a room from Vera Weatherly. Oh, we need to talk She's to Vera. Deck. Okay, good. That's one of the things we need to find out. Um. Where can I get medical attention? Dr. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Oh, okay, so Dr. Lee isn't a medical doctor. She's a scientist doctor. Preston's up for that's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Okay. And I At the stern. That's the west end to you. The west end. Okay. All right. Thanks for the help. Cap Very good. Okay. So uh, let's let's go talk to Vera. All right. Wait a minute. Where did you Is say she problem? was again? You're kind of a not a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> um, someplace I can sleep. If you want to sleep well rested, rent a room from Vera. She's on the upper deck. Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's go. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? I uh, no, I have not seen any troublemakers. I swear. Uh, let's go this way. Flight deck. Oh, well, this doesn't really go anywhere else, does it? Why wouldn't anybody ever come out here? I don't know. That seems odd. Okay, so I guess we don't go that way. Turn the light back on again. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, this is the south end of the ship. Oh. I guess we can take that without stealing. So, stealing the empty is a theft, but stealing the filled bottles is not? Uh, okay. Hey, they got a pool table. That's cool. Any trouble in this area? Rivet City Clinic. Sister's Hotel Door. Why, why is it locked? Hotel ah. Room Door. Locked. Zimmer's Hotel Door. How many hotels are there? Your name's Sister? They call me Sister, don't I? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, why do they call you Sister? Are you making fun of my name? It's a damn good thing for you this place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Okay. 
That's not quite what I intended, but... Evening. Hi, Janice. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. What do you need? Botanist? Hey, can I get seeds from you for my, um... Whatchamacallit back at the base? Yeah, what do you know about River City's history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? He's a doctor, too. I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. What? What the hell does that mean? She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. I will. Thank, thank you for that information. So long. But I would really like some seeds what for good on the menu today? for my hydroponics lab. You need me? For what? Uh, never mind. I guess I don't. Um, Hacksaw mentioned something about hydroponics in Rivet City. Are you ready to but order maybe she's Diego? apparently not the person I need not to talk yet. to. Okay. Give me a few hey, Dr. Preston. I'm right now. Uh, if you're hurt, I'll be back in the clinic shortly. The work that Dr. Uh, I want to... You're wounded. Let me bandage that. Oh. I am? You know anything about an android? You're a doctor, right? Do you know where I can get something to drink? Can you heal my radiation? Do you charge 100 caps for sure that too? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. Okay. If that's the way you... You know, you're you're not as rude as uh, Dr. Church is over at Megaton. Uh, this place looks... Do you have problems with thieves? Got any chems? Can I, yeah, can I ask you about the history? Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know the first thing about this place's history. You're a medical doctor and you don't know anything about that? That seems a little unusual because you're an educated individual. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for a while, but I didn't spend all that time here. Okay, fair enough. Um... Yeah, uh... I, uh that doesn't give him the wrong idea, does it? Don't get any cute idea. No. Now, if you've got any medical... <laughs> okay, um... What do you have? Earth. He's probably got the... He's got doctor snakes. Those are damned expensive. Ooh. I wouldn't mind some immuno boosters. Let's just help stimulate the economy by buying some of those. It's got some rat away. And some water. I don't wanna I don't wanna spend too much money because we don't have a ton actually. So we'll just buy that from him. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Alright. Diego. One of the new immigrants. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Like, you mean like for a church? Yeah, oh, uh, who is the St. Monica? There's a church. There's a church? Oh, yes. Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Hard pass. Um, who is St. Monica? St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. Gotcha. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. Okay. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. You know, you sound like my religious relatives. Again, hard pass. Uh, let's see. I'd like to make a donate. No. Uh, could I ask you about River City's history? I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. Okay. Um... Goodbye, Diego. God bless you. Yeah. Sir. Uh. Hey. All right. I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. Are you in cahoots with that uh, Church of the Adam or whatever it's called? You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. I wonder if... That... Knowing that would actually help Moira's Wasteland Guide, you know, just by getting history information. Of course, St. Monica's probably not part of the history of this uh, ship. What do you know about the Rivet City's history? Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. Okay. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. I don't think we've talked to a Miss Weatherly let, uh, yet, so, okay, great. 
Um, thank you for your time. Saint Monica bless you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mr. Buckingham. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Um. What do you have to eat? Please place your order. All right, we'll buy a steam tomorrow look from him. Um, what is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. Gotcha. Okay. How much does a room cost? Oh, huh. are 100 and Shit. Okay. Never mind. Ready. I'll go sleep in the common room. Uh, I wouldn't mind asking you about your owner, but I don't necessarily want to call you a rust bucket. Uh, so I, I pretty much think that it's yes, Miss Weatherly. Since this is Weatherly's place, right? Oh, Have that's Vera. I've got to get oh, okay. Right. I heard that the Vera Weatherly. Is debating putting we need to talk to her. Well, I hope they do something. Uh, is that you? That it is. Fell off the deck last year? Let's wait till she's done talking. Yeah, that was bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Hey, I've been looking Welcome for you. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Hi, Vera. Um, okay. You know what? Actually, hold on, Vera. Let me get back to you in just a second. Farewell. I can't believe I'm walking around in leopard pattern pajamas here. Um, let's see. Oh, we need to read that. Barter, science, explosives, guns, speech. Yeah, let's just boots our speech a little bit more. One of the new okay. Welcome back, sir. Hi, Vera. Um, okay, so. We have to eat. Let's ask her about the history first. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. You're sure? I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Okay. Um, is there anyone who knows more? Well, yeah, just tell me what you do know. Well, if it'll help. I once heard that this place was covered in Myrlurks 50 years ago, raiding all around the city. Myrlurks raid? Really? Eventually, some poor soul they thought would be lunch fought back and cleared out the whole ship. He set up the city in their place. Was that the mayor? They say he was the first counselor for the upper deck and lived here to his death. Can't say I believe it a bit, but it's a nice tale to tell. Okay, that's very inconsistent with what the mayor says, but that's okay. Um, okay, this is the important thing. Uh, you know what? Actually, take a look at our menu. Just to you know, I'll, I'll buy a new Coca Cola off you. We'll, we'll we'll sit down and we'll have a soda together. Let, wait, do you have a beer? Nope. This isn't. She doesn't sell beer. Okay. A pleasure doing business with you. Okay, so I have something very important to say to you. You have a nephew. His name's Brian. His folks got et by fire ants, and he's all by himself in a very dangerous place. Do you think you could maybe find it in your heart to let your nephew come and live in this relatively very safe place? Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to Oh, in. bless you. Okay. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him I'll fed bet you and healthy, too. but most importantly, safe. Indeed. I think Brian will love his new home. I'll send him along shortly. You're on. You're wonderful, Vera. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. I will do that. Uh, uh, radiation poisoning last All right, week. we got karma. Yeah, I heard she Eat was drinking want, river Diego. water. I never charged the ship's water isn't Clifford much better. If we don't get God fresh you, water Diego. soon, we'll you all end up like her. They get free meals for being religious? Good to you see have you. Any instructions? I used to go to church. No, not right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, good. Good, good, good. So we just need to go stop back in Great Itch and let Brian know the good news when we get back that way. Uh, which we probably should do fairly soon because he could be dead if we wait too long. And that would suck. 
Um, all right, so f as far as the Vera quest goes, return to Moira, optional check, other sources to confirm Rivet City's history. Eh. Yeah, okay, we, we still haven't completed that because it would be a solid, um, a solid square right there. Okay, so... Find the remaining, collect the remaining. Why... Why are there two separate entries that are basically saying the same thing? That's weird. Okay. Right. Okay. So we've we've we'll finish those once we go talk to Brian. No trouble. I think what we need to do is we need to find this Dr. Lee next, even though they said she's kind of a bitch. Or, well, they didn't say she's a bitch. She's just kind of busy and uh, Dr. Preston's door. Here we go. Oh, you're the normal doctor. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to talk to you at the moment. What is this? Oh, that's where you live. Gotcha. Okay, let's go down this way. Black and Shrapnel's door. Science Lab, the Weatherly Hotel, Rivet City Clinic. Gotcha. Okay. Where does... Where does this come out at? Any trouble in this area? Door to the stairwell. See, we never, we never came up this way. Gate bridge. Oh, right. Okay, so this is... This is where we came into the ship. We went into the marketplace. Now, okay, now I know where I'm at. Okay, let's go back in through here. That's Bannon's door. And we can't really go back that way. Okay, so let's go this way. Any trouble in this area? No trouble. Science lab. So I can take stuff down here without stealing? Alright, I'll take free wrenches. Absolutely. Door to science lab. Empty nuke a cola bottle. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Okay, that was an interesting exchange. Um. What else do you want from me? What do you mean, what else do I want from you, Dr. Lee? I haven't even talked to you yet. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. And your glasses are kind of embedded into your forehead, so... There. <laughs> what the hell? Are you by any chance for hire? It depends upon what you're talking about. Yeah, what are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, 
I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? Are you insulting me? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. How do you know that that's all I know about robots? I could, for example, be a world-renowned robotic scientist. You don't know that. Judgmental motherfucker. Okay. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. Oh, is that related to that whole other quest thing that I was supposed to be finding out about? And occasionally they get confused and wander off. I'm starting to see something come together here. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Interesting, but that what's this got to do with me exactly? Um, all right, let's just stay neutral for the moment. You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? Uh... I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. Hmm, I don't know if I know what you're talking about. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'm not sure how it is up north. Tell me, Zimmer, is your wallet big as your mouth? Sorry, I got better things to do. Uh, I mean, uh, I sort of maybe will agree to this, but I don't really know the full story. What, what will you pay me? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. Okay. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. I don't have any friends, so that doesn't matter to me. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll look into this, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not promising anything, but I'll look into it. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Missing android. Okay. I I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Interesting. Um, any suggestions for finding the android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Okay. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. Uh. Yeah, tell me about the Commonwealth. Well, actually, no. If he did wander off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. Okay, but if he's a sentient being and he feels like you've been held, holding him captive, then what the fuck? It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. Okay. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. 
End of story. That remains to be seen. Okay, um, why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Zimmer. What aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. <laughs> Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. I wonder why that is. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Did he do something wrong or immoral because you forced him to, maybe? Ah, uh, okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is uh, different. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you're saying this guy behind you is an android? So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. Hmm. Okay, uh, tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. So he's talking about the Institute from Fallout 4. Huh, I never really made that connection before. Of course, the last time I played this game, Fallout 4 didn't even exist, so... Very interesting. Okay. Um, do you know anything about the history with Rivet City? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. Um, tracking down the location equipment used to perform the face job. I'm trying... Okay, that's just me kind of updating him. All right, well, we'll see how things turn out. Not making any promises. Of course you do. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guards so you're an android, fire. huh? That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. You look pretty human to me. Know anything about the history of Rivet City? No, thank you. Please leave Mr. Zimmer and myself alone. All right. Then go. Went on for I see he programmed some rudeness into you. Anna. You need? Uh, you don't look very happy, Anna. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? Can I get a drink? I'm looking for my father. What do you know about Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Okay. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Apparently not. Um, have you seen my dad? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Okay. Um, can I get a drink? The Weatherly Hotel is a good show. Okay. All right, goodbye. Later. I'm glad I'm in here. Um, okay, before we talk to Lee, let's talk to this Nothing lady. Evening. These hey, Janice, didn't we already talk to you? Be careful around these fruits and vegetables. They're worth more to us than you are. All right, you... Okay. Uh, you're the biologist, right? Or the botanist, rather. What do you know about Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass? Nothing. <laughs> okay. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. Okay. All right. See you, Janice. So uh, let's see here. So... Ooh, fresh. Nice. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Where does this go? Yeah. 
Hi oh, hydroponics. All right, we'll, we'll go there later. We need to talk to I'm Dr. Sure Lee. Just scrounge some from the lower deck. We're still Good in our nightgown, right? Or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Body nightwear. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save right here. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Oh, my dad? You're James's son, I am. aren't you? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm looking for him. Wait, how do you know who I am? Have we met? You know my father? Where's my father? Uh, I think this is the most appropriate response. Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. He never did. Typical. Uh, what does that mean exactly? I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. Oh, okay. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. Okay. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Okay, uh... We put all that behind us, Project Purity, our work. S okay. So what does that mean exactly? Um... Yeah, tell me, this is probably the thing I would want to know the most next. Uh, tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Well, let's start with what the hell it is. Uh, what was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. Hmm. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Uh, why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. What? It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. No kidding. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Okay? Yeah. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Oh, is that the place that I saw at the Lincoln Memorial? Uh, okay. Um, very interesting information. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Um, have you seen my father? You mean you haven't? No. I assumed he sent you here. He didn't. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Uh, I don't know if supposed to be is the right word, but I was in a vault. I left the vault to look for him. Uh, yeah, I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, what he wants for me and what I want for me are two different things. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Of course he has. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. You can tell me where the old lab is. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial <coughs> Building, northwest of here. Oh, that's the Jefferson Memorial Building. Okay. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Like, I'm not going to do that, lady. Um, can you tell me about more about my parents? Yeah. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. Hmm. Okay. What else do you want to know? Hey, you know what that means. I don't need to do three dogs quest for him, even though we're going to anyways. Um... What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work. And your mother. 
When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. Mm -hmm. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. You probably just want to make sure I grew up. Okay. Uh, I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. That's good. It was a shame that she died. Damn straight. She had been excited to meet you. Well, she sort of kind of met me just for a very short period of time. Uh, why did Mom die? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. Hmm. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I, I understand. Um. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Sometimes th some things are out, out of your control. Like me not looting more than I really should. Okay. Uh, let's talk about something else. Okay. She's been pretty nice to me so far. Um, can you tell me uh, what kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society to make the world livable again. Okay. Um, what is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. <clears throat> it's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Portable fusion power, huh? Um... What do you know about Zimmer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? Yeah. I already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. He does seem kind of like a distracting asshole, doesn't he? Um... I'd like to know a little bit more about you. You seem like a nice lady, actually. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. Okay, I think you already explained what those I complications were. I returned here to were. Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Okay. Um, what do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. Okay. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Um... Why is this still an option? What do you want? I don't know. Okay. Um... Is there any way you can help me? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Okay. You understand, I have enough to worry about already. Don't we all? Um, I guess we're finished then. Good luck finding your father. Thank you. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. Yeah. Ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, we'll all end up like her. Good to see you. Uh, thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, wow. That was a load of information. Let's take a look at... Our quest... Uh, quest situation. Look for Dad in Project Purity's control room. The replicated man. Discover what Dr. Preston knows about the android. Search for clues about Zimmer's missing. Learn more about the escaped android. Okay, so it, so we, we often see options when we talk to, like, Dr. Church and Dr. Red... And now Preston, but we have to pay them to ask about this. So, find the museum. Okay, so we're still gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, we're still gonna do the quest for three dog because we're just gonna do it. Um, I don't know, have we? Check other sources to confirm Rivet City's history. So, what, 
other sources do we need to check? And I want to take a look at the hyp uh, hydroponics too. Interesting. Here, let's look at something real quick. If we go to data and miscellaneous and find Hacksaw's journal entries, one of these he says something about the hydroponics here. Okay, he said, I spent enough time in the Rivet City Science Lab to know a hy hydroponics farm when I see one. Given how tight the place was locked up and given the, I think this place might have been used as a drug farm if i get power and water online and if i can find seeds or some shit i might be, uh, or some shit i wonder if he means that literally you know fertilizer i might be able to grow stuff this could be this could be very lucrative okay so wait i i can pick this without stealing That still has rads. Wild punga, refined punga. Potato? Potato? So, am I... Brain fungus? Cave fungus. Am I really supposed to be in here picking their seeds, though? Carrots? I want carrots. Earnings clipboard, finance clipboard. A seed package! Oh, nice! Okay. We found a seed package. Uh, what kind of seeds is it? And where is it? Maybe it's a crafting item. Uh, is it a food item? I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I don't know where it is. What? Maybe we just need to go back to our hydroponics and plug it in. All right. That was only one seed package, though. Is there... I kind of feel bad about, like, just taking it, though. Um, but I don't think I can do anything about that. It's just the way that that particular quest goes. Coyote tobacco. Maze. Um, it's not stealing. <laughs> Why can't I get to that one? That's weird. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. It's it's not stealing, but it kind of doesn't feel feel right particularly because of what they're trying to do here so I'm not going to take anything else I only took that because I thought maybe it was part of that that quest and you know what they say about pung punga fruit if you take it and replant it you know like planting a potato and stuff it might regrow Nowhere to lie. Okay, let's go. I, I think we were just meant to find that one seed packet. Okay. Um. Does this go anywhere? It goes back to the marketplace. Midship deck. They said something about the midship deck. I don't remember. Oh, that's just Capital Preser. Oh, Capital Preservation Society. That's new. Oh, so this is like a museum. That's that's neat. So I bet you there's something down here we can find to give us more history information. It's just a matter of figuring out where and what it is. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. 
Well, I hope they do something. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Yeah, that was bad. Where the hell are I'm they? I sure they do something about it. Oh, there's the security guy. Oh, look at this. Constitution of the U.S. Okay. Um, pause the screen if you want to read all that. Whoops. Emancipation Proclamation. How do I get back? Oh, I just clicked down there. Gettysburg Address. Monroe Doctrine. U.S. Declaration of War on Germany. War on China. That's the only part of this that's actually not real history. <laughs> okay. Any trouble in this area? No trouble. No trouble at all. I'm just trying to find more information for Moira. As if you would know who Moira actually was. Okay, no stealing. That's not stealing. Okay, I, uh, not really seeing anything else down here that's super informative. Just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything that might help us advance the quest. All right, where does this go? Abraham Washington's door. The hell does that mean? Is Abraham Washington like the museum curator? I can take all that without steal. Oh, well, here, I can take these without stealing. Not those. Suitcase. Okay, I can't activate his terminal, unfortunately. But if I can find him, he might be able to give us some information. We just got to find Abraham Washington. Okay, we've already looked at that. Are there any other doors out of here? I don't think so. Hey. Sounds like there's supposed to be people here, but I don't see them. I'm, look I'm on duty. Make it quick. Um. I'd like to report someone. Why? I heard that River City's run by a council. Chief Hawkins meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about the doctor? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the store. Okay, we know all that. Uh, I don't... What? I don't have anybody to report. I don't know what that even means exactly. I mean, I know what it means, but... Okay, we need to find this Abraham Washington character. Because they might be able to tell us more information. Alright. Where does this go? Oh, okay, that's the science lab. And that's the aft hangar. Now, didn't they say there was some place in the stern of the ship? Or, not the stern, the bow. There's the church. Hey, aren't you Angela? Yes, sir. Um. Okay. Yeah. Never, never mind. What's in here? Oh, is this the... Oh, that's where those guys sleep. Gotcha. Okay. What? Angela? What were you doing in here? <laughs> uh, that was weird. Okay. Maybe she wasn't actually in there. Maybe she was just... Uh, a donation? No, we're not going to steal from the church. I... Yeah, okay. Never mind. We're done here. Um, Seagraves Home Store. So, they said something about... Something being in the bow of the ship. Pork 
Broken beans? So this is like an empty... Oh, I wonder if you can make a player home in here. I don't remember that. I know you can in Megaton, in the vanilla game. Interesting. Okay. St. Marcus Church signs to that marketplace. Any trouble in this area? One of these people told me something about something in the bow of the ship, but to be careful going in there. Wait a minute, why is that locked? I'm confused. Is it just because it's nighttime? You'd think they'd still let you out to the marketplace, though. We probably are actually tired now that I think about it. That's the science lab. Any trouble in this area? That's the museum and oh, hey, there's that person we wanted to talk to. Abraham Lincoln or whatever his name is. Abraham Washington. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Already did, and yes, it is impressive. I like what you're doing here. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. It's awesome. Uh, yes, this is an interesting collection indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Mm, I wouldn't go that far. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. I feel a fetch quest coming on. Which document? I take away. No, it's a uh, no snoratorium. <laughs> What's missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. Okay. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Okay. You want me to retrieve the Declaration? All you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? Uh, it means so much to me and the Society's collection here. I'll try? Okay, I'll try to bring you the declaration. I'm not promising. Excellent. You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. But uh, I thought there really wasn't an America anymore. Well, the Enclave thinks there is. Oh, well, we won't get into those weeds. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Okay. Um, I have a few questions about the Declaration of Independence. Stealing independence. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. What does the Declaration of Independence look like? A piece of what was called parchment. Sort of a thick paper. Has faded handwritten writing all over it. Yeah, I know what parchment is. Okay. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. Hmm. Okay, that sounds a little risky. Uh, what's the history behind the document? On July the 4th in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McHarry in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing the famous battle hymn known as the National Anthem, the document was signed. Okay. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Wait, by Thus plane? began the Evolutionary War. Wait, what? <laughs> by plane? I don't think so, dude. Have you ever heard of the Wright brothers? You know, we're talking 20th century here. Uh, anyway, whatever. We won't get into those weeds either. <laughs> the, the Evolutionary War? <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let me ask you something else. Certainly. Uh, oh, my God. That's funny. Um, can you show me how to get to the net? Yeah, show me on the map. 
In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. Okay. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. How do you know the mutants haven't broken the glass and taken the thing and used it for, you know, whatever? Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what do you know about the history of Rivet City? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. You've got to be kidding me. What? I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Oh, man, dude, you're disappointing. Uh, I've looked around a bit. Oh? And have you come to any conclusions? Wait, what am, uh, about what exactly? Uh, oh, right. Gotcha, okay. Ah. Yeah, we've already been through this. Okay. Um... In oh! What? Let me tell you about X. You. Okay, yeah, we've already gone through all this. He didn't. God damn it. Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Right. Okay. I was hoping he'd give us more information about the history for for um, Moira, but he didn't. I mean, if there's anybody here that should know about the history, it's the museum curator. Dude. <sighs> All right. Well, we need to figure out how to get into the bow of this ship. So, we know the science lab is in the stern, also known as aft. So, well, that means we got to go this way, which happens to be, well, west by southwest. Looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? You keep asking me that, and I keep telling you there aren't any troublemakers. What? It's 1.30 in the morning. Okay, where did they say that place was that I could sleep for free, even though I'll probably get bed bugs? But that's just to be expected in the wasteland. They were supposed to be like a, a, a common house or something, they said. Common room, right here. A broken terminal? Ooh. I'll take those. Wait, I thought you said I could sleep here for free. Mei Wong? Oh, we haven't talked to Mei Wong yet. Or James Hargrave. Or Tammy Hargrave. Or Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez? Okay, here's the thing. If I sleep... And then wake up later. These guys will all wake up and leave. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wake them up and talk to them one by one because that's what you do in these situations, even though it's kind of rude. All right, let's talk to Mei Wong first. Good to see you. You're not mad at me for waking you up? Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? Wait a minute. I thought you just said it was good to see me. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. What, what are you so scared of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. Uh -huh. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I've seen Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Do you have any evidence that he's after you? Don't worry, I would never turn into a runaway slave. So I just, now I understand. Hey, it's none of my business. Let the past be the past. Uh. Well, no, I wouldn't turn in a runaway slave, and it isn't none of my business. Or now I understand why you're upset. So let's let's do this one. Really? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. What exactly do you want me to do? Let me think about it. You're on your own. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you could buy yourself a gun. Do you know how to use it, A, and B, if you do use a gun on him, are you going to get thrown in the brig? I guess that's up to you to decide, right? Okay, here you go. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. If that guy is indeed a slaver and he's after you, then... 
I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. Okay. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Ah, I've heard of that place. Okay, thank you for that information. Appreciate it. All right. Well, hopefully we made Mei Wong's life a little bit better. Let's talk to James Hargrave. Wait, James is a kid, right? Let's talk to his his mother or sister. Good to see you. Hello. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> She's mad that I woke her up. I can't blame her. I don't know why she thought it was good to see me, though. Um, Is that your son running around here? You don't have to be... Well, okay, but I did wake her up, okay? So, in all fairness... Yeah, that's James. My own little troublemaking brat. Okay. I'd sell him to you if they'd let me. Really? Uh, okay. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. You want me to ask you personal questions? All right, let's talk to James. Don't mind me, mister. What do you want? Hey, first of all, if I bring another boy here around your age, will you be his buddy and not be an asshole? Um, you don't need to be so scared, son. What? Is he scared? Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Oh, gotcha. Oh, your mom's an alcoholic. Oh, okay. I'm starting to understand a little bit more now. Um, is that good enough for you, asshole? <laughs> uh, What's your problem, mister? Heard any stories about the city's history? Yeah. Dad built it to fight off the Mireworks. And Mom, she's like the Mirework <laughs> queen. <laughs> um... Do you know anything about the River City and how they made it? It's a boat. A really big boat. Okay. Uh... What are you, such a brat? I... I mean... Why, why would I say that to him exactly? I don't know. Let's just see what he says. What did you say about my mother? You... You take that back! <laughs> you, you've said worse about her than I have. Your mother is a bitch and you're a spoiled punk. Oh, come on. Relax, dude. Go jump off the flight deck, asshole. Hey, listen. You you better be nice to Brian. If I come back someday and find out you haven't been, I'll throw your little ass off the flight deck. Okay, those people are not the most pleasant people. Let's talk to Mr. Lopez. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Why wouldn't I remember you, Mr. Lopez? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. What does that mean? Um, yeah, well, look at the time. I gotta go. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Okay. Let's talk to Ted Strayer. Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Oh, nice guy. Okay. Sounds like a plan, man. Did you actually do anything here in Riverside? I mean, you seem pretty relaxed. I know you're type. You're a freeloader or waste of breath. Uh, you seem pretty relaxed. No point in getting all worked up. I get three squares, I got a place to crash, and nothing's trying to eat me. That's a good point. Uh. Whoa. What's the rush, dude? Can I ask you about River City's history? Dude. I only just Dude. got here myself. Ain't nothing I can tell you. Uh, okay. Later, dude. All right. See you, man. Can't sleep in that cop for some reason. Okay, I guess we've talked to everybody in here. So, let's sleep until 7.42. Hopefully the market's open by then. Morning. Hi, May. Okay. Right. All right. Let's go. Stay. We can. We can just go in there. Angela stay. Oh, she's the. She's got a machete. She's the lady that does the the bar with her dad. Okay. Let's not bother her. We've already talked to her anyway. Marketplace. 
I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh. Look at this. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah, Bell's gonna have to replace some tables and chairs. All right. Well, we fight in the muddy rudder last night. Uh. Okay, let's leave. Some tables and chairs. Bridge tower. The, the, the muddy rudder, the gate bridge. Okay. Right. This is the bridge tower. Capital preservation. Okay, so that's the middle deck. Um. That's the Rivet City Clinic and the Weatherly Hotel. That just goes outside. Don't mind me. I'm just taking up space here. Okay, we just came out of Capital Preservation System. Oh, okay, here we go. Bathroom. Okay, yep, it is a it is a bathroom. The muddy rudder. And we crashed again. 